Hi, Hope Kids and Jam friends. Who is Jesus? I think Jesus was a great teacher who taught people about God. I think Jesus was a great prophet. He told people about God's plan. I think Jesus was a good person. He treated everyone with love and kindness. Even when Jesus lived on earth, people had many ideas about who he was. Many people thought Jesus must be a great Bible hero from the past who had come back to life. But that's not who Jesus is. Say it with me. Jesus is God. Listen to him. One day, the disciples talked with Jesus about the wrong ideas people had about him. Then Jesus asked the disciples, What about you? Who do you say I am? Jesus was asking the disciples who they thought he was. One of the disciples, Peter, said, You are the Christ, Son of the living God. Peter saw that Jesus isn't just a wise teacher, a great prophet, or a good person, but he is the Savior God promised and that he is God's own Son. Jesus is the one true God. There are, there are not a lot of different type of gods, but there is only one true God who exists in three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Though it's hard to understand sometimes, the Bible teaches all three persons are one God. The Holy Trinity is what we call this, is the great creator king of all things. The whole universe belongs to him because he made it and holds it together. He has no beginning and no end. He is the one true God. And the one true God made you and loves you very much. His love is perfect and powerful because he is perfect and powerful. And so God helped Peter to understand this truth and about who Jesus is. By this time, Jesus had spent two years with the disciples, helping them learn who he is. Now, he knew it was time to prepare them for what was going to happen next. He taught his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem to suffer, be killed, and then be raised from the dead on the third day. This plan was hard for the disciples to understand. In fact, Peter began to argue with Jesus. This will never happen to you, Jesus, he said. But Jesus wouldn't change his mind. You're thinking about what you want instead of what God wants, he replied. Jesus knew that Peter and many other people hoped Jesus would make himself a powerful king and set all the people free from their enemies. But they want, and they wanted Jesus to make them powerful and important. But God's plan was for Jesus to die and rise again to save people from sin. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit made this plan before the world was even created. Jesus is God the Son, and He was there working with God, and God the Father and God the Holy Spirit to create all things in this world and universe. He knew all people would sin and become separated from Him. God knew people would want to keep on sinning and doing things you know, like lying, stealing, and even complaining. Jesus, God the Son, knew the punishment for sin would be death and separation from God, which is so terrible. It's a terrible punishment, but Jesus chose to take it. This was God's plan, the reason Jesus came to earth. This plan didn't really make sense to Peter and the other disciples. They had many different ideas about what Jesus should do, but they needed to trust Jesus and believe God's plan was best. Say it with me. Jesus is God. Listen to him. About a week after Jesus has, had explained this plan to the disciples, Jesus walked up a mountain with Peter, James, and John. While they were on the mountain, something amazing happened. There he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Just then, there appeared before them Moses and Elijah talking with Jesus. Whoa, what just happened? Jesus was talking with Moses and Elijah, and he was as bright, even brighter than the sun? We're going to find out more in detail next week.